One of our photographers always says that the best way to go about making something is to see where the void is and try to fill it. So for me, I was nearing the end of middle school and starting high school, and I just felt that there wasn't a publication that really spoke to me as a teenager or as a girl um, about the things I was interested in and worried about and excited about. For as much as I'm very inspired by things that came out of the 90s, so many of my favorite shows like Freaks and Geeks or My So-Called Life or Daria that really seem to respect uh, teenage voices, they came out of that time. And it was, I think, a time of questioning. Uh, I think, especially for teenagers, you know, that's inspiring to me because that wasn't like a, a culture that I really uh, saw around me when Rookie started. And now we have, now people like me who are interested in that do have kind of a home base with Rookie. When I first said on my blog that I wanted to start Rookie, I asked people to send in their writing, photography, illustration, and uh, got about 3,000 emails. And then um, a woman who had read, been reading my blog and bought my zine uh, that I made like five copies of when I was like 12, um, emailed me and she was like, I work at the New York Times, but I'll quit my job to help you. And she did, and she helped me go through the 3,000 submissions. It's really nice to have people who have all of these different backgrounds. You know, some of them are still teenagers, some are adults, some studied writing, some didn't study at all. And so it's just nice to have such a combination. We have so much amazing writing and photography and illustration that really deserves to be documented in this tangible way that people can have, can feel a closer relationship to. I think there's a sense of like impurity to work online, like it shouldn't be able to get through to people as much as, uh, you know, a tangible book, or it shouldn't have the same effect on you as like a film that you see in the theater. But I think art, writing, anything that resonates with you will resonate you, will resonate with you because of the meaning and not because of, you know, however you get to it or the medium it's in or whatever. Absorbing art of any kind, but especially I think books and direct writing because it's like such a direct form of communication uh, is an exercise in empathy. And a lot of being a person is about empathy and other people and kind of getting outside of your own head and learning about the world and learning about other people's stories. So I think books lead to a fuller life because uh, they make you feel more a part of the world and a part of other people's lives. And um, that's not something you can do on your own. You need those other people and other voices to experience that. And books are kind of like the passage to that. You know, we hope our readers can come away from Rookie feeling, at the very least, just like inspired, more okay with themselves, um, you know, knowing that they're already cool enough, smart enough, pretty enough, whatever. So that's all I wanted to say. <laughs>